Uh, balloons down the collector jersey. Neutral sweater, neutral balloon, neutral wall. Nothing's happening. Oh, wait. Let me reset. There's no attraction, no attraction. Let's see, let's take a look at what happens between a negatively charged object, this balloon, and the neutral wall. Let's make our new negatively charged object. We can do that by rubbing the balloon against the sweater. Now we have a negatively charged balloon. The sweater, because it gave its electrons to the balloon, is now positively charged. Why do the um, only the electrons get transferred? Why don't the uh, why don't the protons move at all? Electrons are loosely held uh, in the electron cloud and are free to be transferred. Um, the protons cannot go, cannot move uh, from atom to atom because they are bound strongly together with the neutrons in the nucleus. So yeah, we got uh, some, some pretty good attraction between this positively charged sweater and negatively charged balloon. We're gonna bring the negatively charged balloon close to the neutral wall. Look at that. The negative charges in the negatively charged balloon are repelling the negative charges in the neutral wall. Why aren't the positives going anywhere? That's right! The positives aren't going anywhere because they're bound with the neutrons in the nucleus. Only the electrons are free to go. What that does is that um, creates a negatively charged zone, okay, over here on the uh, far end of the wall that leaves a positively charged zone at the end of the wall closest to the balloon. This whole wall is still neutral. Within the neutral, you have a negative end and a positive end. Okay, and it's through that, that because there's a positive end here, a positive zone, that enables attraction between the negatively charged object and the neutral wall. Okay, there's our attraction. This whole process where you have a you use a, a charged object to create a negatively charged zone and a positively charged zone within a neutral. That is polarization. Yeah, uh, all right, let's reset. Hey, by the way, whenever we charge the balloon against the sweater, um, electrons being transferred by rubbing the two things together. Okay, that, what is that called? That's right! Charging by friction. Lastly, last part, if I charge the balloon again, charging by friction, and I put this balloon halfway between the sweater and the wall, where's it gonna go? Yes! To the sweater, it's a positive charge, but why doesn't it go to the wall? It's tracked to the wall though. Well, so the, the, the bigger the difference in charge between two objects, the stronger the force of attraction. Okay, likewise, the uh, greater the similarity in charge between two objects, the greater the repulsion. But in this case, there is a much greater difference in charge between these two, okay, the sweater and the balloon, there's a much greater difference in charge, so positive here and then so negative. There's a much greater difference between, say, positive four and negative four, as opposed to, let's say, between the balloon and the wall, it would be negative four and zero. Okay, the difference between negative four and zero is only four. Okay, so there is a greater difference in charge um, between these two. It's a wrap.